Right, so I had my um, tenth chemo uh, about a week and a half ago now. Um, they are getting harder as they go on, uh, like I thought they would, because like I said at the start, it's all cumulative, so it builds up. But um, yeah, tenth one uh, went as normal. Same thing went in there. I had to wait for a bit. Got the nurse. She um, started giving me the drugs, and then yeah, that was it. Um, I don't know. This is the first time I've actually slept through a chemo session <laughs> for most of it. Um, usually you can't, but I just felt so crap that day that um, I just slept through it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it was it was not great, but none of them are really. I, I want to stop saying that. But um, yes, yeah, so I, I slept through quite a lot of it, which is quite weird because it's really hard to sleep through. But um, yeah, I don't. It's just reached a point now where I'm just like, all right, let's just get on with it, get it done with and go home. Like, even during chemo, I don't really talk to anyone. Or, um, or like, this this time when I came home, I usually have messages from friends and stuff, like, oh, how was it? How how are you feeling? Kind of thing. But I honestly just put my phone to the side and just, I just didn't want to talk to anyone. But, um, yeah, so that got that all done with anyway. That was fine. Um, did have a few side effects, like obviously now it is getting a bit worse and um, so the side effects are getting a bit more intense, if that's the word. So I mean, for example, my mouth was stinging a lot, like um, like quite a lot and uh, because it stings so much you don't, you can't even drink water and when you don't drink anything obviously you get dehydrated and then you feel even worse. So. It's all just a bit rubbish at the moment, to be honest. Um, for the first time, my throat was actually stinging. So usually it's um, the mouth, but um, this time, yeah, it was the throat stinging. And uh, that was weird. I've never had my throat sting. That, was, that wasn't that nice either. Um, there were certain days where I just felt so horrible, like I had to force myself to sleep. Like, if you know me, you know I don't... I've never been, like, a heavy sleeper. But... Um, during the day, there were days where I felt so bad I had to just get into bed, put my blinds down, try and get the room as dark as possible and just force myself to sleep because I just didn't want to be awake. Um, particularly last week. Last week was really bad. Most of the days. Uh, yeah, it was just quite horrible last week. This week I'm feeling a bit better. But um, yeah, even like my stomach, my stomach wasn't good. Like, I couldn't eat. Um... I just it just constantly hurt. It wasn't so much the nausea. The nausea was there, but as in my stomach really hurt. It felt like there was a hole in it or something. Like I'd, I'd eat, I'd be hungry. Don't get me wrong. I'd eat the food, but then as soon as I have a couple bites, my stomach just really hurt. I can't really describe it. It just honestly felt like there was a hole in my stomach or something. Like someone had just stabbed it. So um, I couldn't really eat much. Um, what else? The usual side effects, hair still falling out. I mean, like even with the little bit of facial hair I've got, I can just sit here pulling it out all day, stuff like that. Um, my body does feel quite bad now that I'm coming to the end, obviously, I guess. Um, like, yeah, I just sometimes think, bloody hell, like, what's going on here? <laughs> like, it just feels really, really bad. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, my chemo brain's been quite bad. Um, it's been a bit like, yeah, it's getting worse. Like, I mean, one day like, I was sitting on my sofa and then I randomly just stood up, walked halfway up the stairs and I got up there and I was like, hold on, why am I going up the stairs? I don't, I don't, there's no reason whatsoever for me to go up the stairs, but I went halfway up, came back down, sat back on the sofa. To this day, I don't know why I climbed up the stairs. <laughs> Um, what else? I mean, I usually when I wake up in the morning, I'll brush my teeth and then I'll jump in the shower and then I'll go and get ready. So, I mean, one day, like, um, I remember I got up, I brushed my teeth, then I thought, right, let me have a shower. Took all my clothes off, got ready for the shower. Then for some reason, I didn't go to the shower. I went back to the sink. I turned the tap on and then I just stood there confused for about a minute. Like, why have I got the tap on and why don't I have any clothes on? And then I realised, oh, I was meant to go for a shower. Why am I standing at the tap? Turn the tap off and went for a shower. Just little things like that. It's, it's just getting a bit stupid now. <laughs> I don't know if the word stupid is, but I don't know. It's just getting there now. Um, 
I don't know. It is quite rubbish. It is quite rubbish. No, okay, it's very rubbish. But <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Like, uh, it's the it's the week after I have the chemo that's just really bad now. Um, like I remember feeling like I just want to go to sleep and wake up when this is all finished. But um, it's just yeah. Like everyone said, I've got two more sessions left, obviously, and everyone just says, oh, it's it's two more you'll be fine, you'll get through it in no time, and it's like, okay, it's two more, and it's over the next two weeks, so literally in, in about two weeks' time now, this will all be over, but um, it's going to be the hardest two weeks of my life, and people don't understand, each one is worse as it goes on, like, so much more worse, like, especially towards the end, because I've got so many chemicals in me, so much poison in me already, like, it's easy for someone to say, oh yeah, it's two more, you'll be fine, Okay, well, you try it then. You go and sit through these two and tell me how you like it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know people are just saying it to obviously try and make me feel better and be like, oh, you're nearly there. But it's like, to everyone else, two weeks seems like you're pretty much done. But to me, two, it's the longest two weeks it's going to be. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's starting to annoy me when people keep saying that to me, even though I know they mean well. It's like when people try and help me. As in, like, I don't need help. <laughs> um, in terms of, like, if something needs to be picked up or moved or something's quite heavy and it needs to be moved or just anything, you know, people will be like, oh, no, I'll do it. Let me get that for you, this, that. I, I know that people are trying to be nice, but I am still able to do everything that I've ever done. Like, if, if I can't do something, I would say, can you help me with this? But, again, people are just trying to be nice, but, it gets a bit annoying after a while. Um, I don't know. I personally, I don't think I even need this. Like, I know my body very well. As in, I pretty much knew I had cancer before I had it. Obviously, I just didn't tell anyone. But I knew it was coming, like, before my diagnosis. Um, also, when just before remission, I told my friends. I told a couple close friends of mine. Like, and even my family was like, I don't, I don't have this anymore. I don't have cancer anymore. No, I don't. And then literally about a week later of me saying that I was in remission. So I know my body very well and I've not needed this. I know I've been cancer free for a good few months now. And I know it's gone and I know it's not coming back without, like, I can't explain it. I didn't need to go through all the chemo, but I'm going to finish it. I don't like starting something and not finishing it. So I will finish it, but I just know I don't need it. Especially the last two. I could stop now and be fine for the rest of my life. I just know myself that I've beaten it and it's gone for good. But yeah, I mean, that's it. So I've got two more two more chemo sessions left. Um, one this Friday, one two weeks from that, from that Friday. So, uh, and then yeah, it's just recovery. I mean, I don't know. It's all, it's all gonna be a bit weird when it finishes, but for now I'm just, this, it's, my, it's the only thing I'm focusing on, to be honest, just, getting these next two weeks over and done with i mean i don't know when when you when you stare death in the face that like, it will change a man and it's just one of those things i guess but it's all it's all for the best and um yeah i'm trying to just stay positive about it all but um yeah it's gonna be a crappy crappy two weeks but um almost there now but yeah again like i say always thank thanks for all the support um, it has been great. I mean, I've, I've I've had great response, so I can't complain on that front. But um, yeah, two more to go, and um, I'll keep you guys updated. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I can't really think of anything else to really talk about. I, I don't want to just be repetitive, and so I'll leave it at that, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'll keep making videos and give you guys an update on how my next one goes um, as soon as I feel a bit better from it.